Hi, I'm Johnny Nomega, and we're in the wonderful Richmond, Virginia, and of course, Nomega Recording Studios. And today, I'm going to give you a couple great tips, brief tips on breaking into the business album versus mixtape versus demos, indie labels versus major labels, all that kind of stuff. So sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Before we even get too deep into the video, I'm going to ask you a question that I get asked over and over again. Whether to do an album, a demo, or a mixtape. Well, that's a great question. And for those that don't know what a mixtape is, a mixtape is when you sing original lyrics over someone else's instrumentals, uh, someone that has already made it and successful in the business, their instrumentals, or if you sing that's their actual song, their music as well as their lyrics. So if you take, let's say, Whitney Houston song and put original lyrics to it. Or if you take a Jay-Z song and rap his verse with the lyrics, so those are considered mixtapes. Uh, my opinion on mixtapes, waste of your time, waste of your money, unless you're not trying to professionally get into the business, you simply want to get your name out and want people to know who you are. But if you're actually trying to crack into the business, an album or a demo can advance you a lot faster, in my personal opinion, my over a decade of experience, in the business, not saying mixtapes are bad, they're great at getting your name out there. I know there's a few artists that have been signed to deals because someone heard them on a mixtape. But the percentage of people that are signed to a deal versus the millions that aren't signed to a deal that do that use mixtapes is just it's not worth it. You know, you have a hundred times better shot doing an album or a demo. Okay, that brings us to Album versus demo. An album, doing an original album, it has great benefits. You can put it in stores yourself if you're going to self-promote. You have an entire album that's done, and if it sounds great and you do get picked up, the album's done already. It makes you very attractive to labels. Also, you put a barcode on it, you put it in stores, you move 10,000 units or 50,000 units independently. You can negotiate a distribution deal with distributors such as Koch or even Sony or Universal because you have the numbers to back up your product. And trust me, that is a lot better than your music. If I was uh, president of Universal and someone brought me an awesome album saying this is the best music I ever heard, and someone brought me some awesome numbers saying this guy's independently moved 50,000 units, I'm going to throw the album out the window and I'm going to call that guy to move those units as fast as I can because he has proven that people want his product, people are buying his product, and that he can make money, which means he can make me money. A demo is good. We're going to talk about putting together a team. A demo is great. Not bashing demos. Demos are wonderful. A three to five song original demo allows your agents, your managers, your team, your lawyers to shop your music and help you get in the doors that you need to get into. So demos are great also. Numbers are great. So it just depends. You have to decide whether I want to pump it independently or self-promote as I'll say. Because we're going to talk about independent labels. Whether I want to self-promote it, put it in the stores, do it myself, or if I want to actually give it to an agency, and you can give your album to an agency also, and they can promote that. Not saying they can't, but a lot of times the majors just want a three to five song demo. They can hit it, hear it in a three to five song demo, get back to you, tell you if they like it, and get it moving. Now that we got that out of the way, 